you have a day, just one day in a season, like the day I had today, makes it all worth it. Just to get that close to them is pretty damn awesome. Yeah, I heard you uh, using them about every two minutes. Yeah, I was, oh shit. If every day was like today, I'd use up my allotted number of heartbeats in short order. So uh, after, after you and I split up, so I, I kept looking for that track. I made a big loop and came back to the spot and then I cut another fresh track that went the other way so I followed it and um, followed it on I, I never saw anything and uh, you went off to the south yeah and so that took me over there above to where I could see in some of those meadows and I figured I I thought about coming back to camp but I didn't think there was anything left up there but uh, I figured there might be a straggler cow or something up there, so I just sat there and, and did some glassing. And uh, about 1 o'clock, a bull bugled from right there where they were bedded the other day. I was like, well, shit, that's, that's all right. Okay. And so the thermals were perfect. I mean, it was a strong... What? Oh, yeah. Over on that face. I mean, it was just like blowing oh, in my the, face. Yeah, it was, was like, like a 50 mile per hour wind. I was like, right. <laughs> That's you know, what you need around the here. <laughs> you, you don't get like straight thermals. You get the straight 50 mile an hour wind. <laughs> well, well that that's was a, perfect, I mean, yeah. the wind was perfect for it. So I started easing down, easing down. And I got to within about 200 yards where I thought he had bugled. I let one rip. And he, man, he just oh, came back. I was like, hell yes. And so I just ran down the hill. What time is it? This is one, like 1.30, middle of the day. So I ran down the hill and then uh, stopped where I thought I could, might be able to see him, but I never did, never did see him. He bugled, I bugled back at him, nothing aggressive, just a sweet talk type of a bugle. And uh, after that last bugle, I started creeping forward, trying to get up there so he could, you know, Mm -hmm. get past that hang up spot and mm -hmm. he came to within he came to within best I could tell he's about 50 yards I couldn't see him he wanted to see you yep he came to 50 yards bugled and then he went back and so I started creeping along behind him and then I could hear him raking a tree so I just dropped my pack put the GoPro on my head and I started going and I walked up to within 10 yards of that sucker and he was, I mean, he's a freaking toad, but he was in this nasty ass blow down bullshit. And I was standing, I mean, literally probably eight or 10 yards from him. And he just went, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and my freaking knees about melted. <laughs> I thought my damn heart was going to be out You think it's chest. something when it's like 50 yards off, but when they get to like. <laughs> and he was facing me too. Yeah. And like, when they oh let loose, God. it's like, oh my God. But he, uh. I couldn't get a shot. I mean, he was right there, but there was a little bit of a hole that if he walked this way, I maybe could have got a shot. And he stopped raking and took about two steps, but the hole was only about this high. And, and so his, his belly's probably yep. yeah. and, and so when I when he took those two steps, I did like that right there, and then he caught me yeah. just like that. <laughs> That's when you're supposed to go. Ah! <laughs> well, he I, he I did, but he I mean he. He didn't see a bull. I mean, he just, yeah. he didn't win me. But when he stopped and started walking away, I just started screaming at him. And he, but he kept, he kept going away. But he kept bugling. I was like, well, all right. And so he went on up the draw. The chase and, is on. And I shadowed him. And then he came back. And I shadowed him this way. And then when he came back, he went out in the meadow. He got out in that big wallow out in the middle of that place and was just freaking thrashing it. Did you see me out there? Uh-uh. I should have stayed. I went out there and sat out there for like two, two and a half hours. And I heard you going, woo, 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 I'm like, there's no more fucking elk in there. I'm leaving. So I left. And I got up on the hill and looked back out there. And sure shit, I saw elk out there. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I'm going to go walk back over there. But then they all started running. And I thought, oh, you must have spooked them or something. And, and I just Oh, yeah. so, so he went out to the wallow. Oh. And then his 
he was the only one. There was a yearling cow out there with him. And that was the only one with him. And um, then he started walking back towards the timber, and I stayed just inside the timber line and just shattered him all the way back, got to within 50 yards of him that time. And I, I, then I was just sitting there. I could hear him in the brush, but I couldn't see him. And then his cows started coming. I could see him behind me, filtering this way. And my wind was blowing this way, so I wanted to get back over and cut him off. So I just kind of eased back into the trees and, and got to where I thought they would they were kind of angled that way. And I stood there, stood there, stood there. And I'll be damned if them son of guns didn't come out right where I was sitting. So then, after that <laughs> Wait, happened... Wait, there's more? <laughs> after that happened... So they, they go this on... This is like an Eric Johnson story. There's, it's like an onion. There's layers. So they go on over the hill, and I was like, oh, man, this is a, this was, that was awesome. And then I hear... Yeah, there's another bull bugle. So I went on up the draw, and uh, there's a little, there's a knob over there on the other side of that timber we were on. And uh, they, he was way over, he was way the hell up by that saddle when I first heard him. And so I was going along and, and um, came to one of those strips that come down like, you know, one of those open strips. Yeah and didn't want to walk all the way down and back up so I just kind of started easing across this open face and I was down on my knees and I looked up and there was a cow and a spike about a hundred yards and I could see from here up on them and they were they never even looked at me they were looking at a cow on the far ridge I was like well, I kind of sat there for a little bit and they went back to feeding so I just kind of got down and belly crawled for the rest of the way and uh got up into the next finger of timber and had that herd come by me at about 60 yards and that was a freaking herd. There was, that was probably that big herd I saw the other day. There was 30 plus cows and calves. Where'd they come out of? They were way up there by that saddle. You know where, where we did that stalk on that bull? Yeah. The, in the they came, so they come off the backside then? Maybe. Possibly. But uh, I think it's a big bull. And I think that all these elk are going back and forth, and wherever they get caught when the sun comes up, they go up. Yeah. And so they go... Yeah, because we didn't see that herd this morning. No. They went on by me. At, I mean, I couldn't do anything with them. They were at 60 yards. I tried to... There was just one little patch of timber, and I was standing on one side of it, and the bull was 70 yards on the other side of it. And I tried... I bugled at him, tried to get it back, you know, it sounded like it was back behind me. And he came a little ways, but... I knew there wasn't any way I was going to bring them up yeah, there. That's too many out. Yeah. But, uh, so they go on up the hill, and then I called in two coyotes to like 40 yards. We had coyotes right down here just before you guys showed up. They were going crazy there by, yeah. like, the okay. confluence. Yeah, I heard them. Did you? And then, after all that, I was on my way back, had my bow strapped to my back. I was just booking it down the trail, going like this, and I walked around, and Juniper was like, well, shit, there's elk right there. Yeah, right. <laughs> we balled right there. It was the same. It was the first group that I bumped. Ed went over the hill through that <laughs> little canyon, and they were feeding where we heard that bull bugling the other night when we were down in the river bottom. Yeah. And so I got all my shit ready and, and started crawling to them and got within about 30 yards of the closest cow, but the wind was just freaking. I mean, that's a long shot with no wind, and I didn't it's want It's too it. much. Yeah. But... I'm happy. Yeah. I got an elk this morning. I don't have, like, quite the exciting story you had. But I do have a story about when I got back to camp. What happened? Okay. I got back to camp. I walk into camp. And this knife right here. Gunner's running around. I'm not going to put it in my mouth. Okay. Gunner's <laughs> running around. You can see. You see it? You see it? He's running around with his knife in his mouth. Like this. <laughs> and I thought Clay would like a picture of that but I should probably get that away from him before he does damage to another goat or me or the tent or something else but as you can see look at it you see it <laughs> oh shit it's, a mess. it's got f***ing goat jizz all over it <laughs> Oh, God, I wish we got a picture of that. Oh, uh, yeah, you were going <laughs> to see that. Whew. 
Mm. I'm running around throwing rocks at his ass. Stop it! Stop <laughs> it! Stop it! He's just running around with his head as well. I can't believe they were still open there. I just got fed. I'm like, okay, it's over. <laughs> There's no more oak in there. I'm leaving. I thought the I same snuck thing. all the way up that middle. You know that little tree right there in the wall, though? Yep. I was sitting right underneath that thing. Buddy, the, the elk around here have PhDs at this point. I figured that place was empty. Well, he walked. If you'd have sat Because all I could hear you. I could only hear you. Like every minute bugling. What? No. You, you must have been hearing that bull because I wasn't bugling that much. Like every minute? I wasn't bugling. No, I wasn't bugling that much. How come were you bugling? There for about five minutes, maybe I was bugling a lot, yeah. but not more than, you know, I wasn't like for 30 minutes bugling, you know. Well, there was like a half hour, an hour straight where there was just constant bugling coming out of there. That sounded like you. You just got to end every bugle with a little bit of Miles Davis at the end, so we know it's you. <laughs> He was, he was bugling a lot. Um, I didn't. I wasn't once. Once he found me out, and I screamed at him a couple of times, like bam, bam, bam. I don't think I didn't bugle at him again. I don't think. So, the, so that would have been probably one after probably one thirty. I wouldn't have bugled again until I bugled at that one bull one time. So I was out there like. Yeah, I didn't even start heading out. It was 5 o'clock when I It started. was an elk, and you thought it was clay. Yeah. Well, that's a credit to you. I know. That's a compliment. Yeah. Thank you. Did you hear him bugling? Yeah. He said something then? Like he was bugling more. Where were you at, like, 6 and 7? Oh, I was I was way on. That's a tricky question. Was way oh, on now. So you weren't it's even like in when the your area. Wife asked you. you remember the no. first time we made love? You know, like, oh. And so you didn't even yeah. see that lower wallow meadow. That was at one thirty. He went out there. Two. Oh, ish. okay. So I was out there at a totally different time than you. So God, I'm wasting my talents on you guys. I really am. You know where that big, that big long that? sweeping. Uh, it's really good food. The big long sweeping so um, grade comes down that goes grade. over. What the hell are you uh, talking about? Nothing. <laughs> sweeping grade. <laughs> like the, you know how that ridge kind of just starts going up and up and up, and then it dumps over. Uh -huh. At the base of that, that's where I was about six o'clock or so. That's where that other herd came down. Interesting. So you heard a bunch of bugling about five or six? Oh, it was just non-stop in those woods. <laughs> this it is classic. Me. I love this. This is classic. It must have been a different I thought boat. it was you. No, it wasn't me. There was... Because I, all I had knew, because, you know, before we'd split up, all I had known was that you were thinking about sneaking into that band of woods from the top and bugling your way into it and hoping he'd come up and check this it out. This is an argument for all of us just blowing... Pretty much pack bugles, because then we know. <laughs> no, I wasn't even in the. I wasn't in anywhere in that country at that <laughs> time. <laughs> so there was a bull bugling, and you were like, "Ah, f it. it's clay. It's clay. I'm not walking over there." There was another bull that came over the hill. Like clay, clay just had to get all these bugles out of him. It was like literally every minute. Look, <laughs> 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 he showed up at camp. He's like, "Yeah, man, the last part I heard clay. He's just going crazy up there." <laughs> He's trying to get all that bugle out of his system on the last day of the heart. There was a bullet up in it. It was so goddamn hot. Yeah. All he would have come walked in. <laughs> just turned sideways and said, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. All Teague would have had to do is walk up there and say, yeah. Right. Shoot him with that blood he's been carrying around in his quiver. Yeah, well, yeah. I didn't want to f*** up your hunt. So you don't want to use your there. last good arrow. I was waiting for you to bust him out and have him come running by me. <laughs> yeah. Or them come out and get some water. Well, I'll tell you what this proves, gentlemen, is that you don't have to kill an elk to have a good elk hunt. That's right. Mm -hmm. 